saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat around To my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I clean our shower the best way I have found to get it clean and keep it clean so we actually let our shower build up for a little bit just so we could get you a great before and after but at the very end I'm going to share a couple tips that can help you maintain your sparkling clean shower. To clean my shower today, I'm using baking soda, a sponge with a soft side and a rougher side, two bowls, a cleaning toothbrush, and this one's just from a hotel, it, essential oils, I'm using Setcher Blend, but it's optional what kind or if you use any. My favorite cleaning products, so I have scrubbing bubbles, which I'll use for the glass, and then I have a tub and tiles by Myers that's a bit gentler for our natural stone. So definitely look into what kind of stone you have and make sure it works for you. I also have rubber gloves, which I forget to put on in this video. I have a squeegee, which is a must, a microfiber cloth, my glass cleaner for the outside of the shower, and paper towel, which you could use the microfiber cloth for the whole thing, or you could use paper towel for the whole thing, whichever one works best for you. After I clean out the shower, I am going to get the glass pre-treated. So I'm spraying the scrubbing bubbles shower foam all over the glass and letting it sit. And then I'm going to make the tough scum mix. So I'm using baking soda in my smaller bowl. I'm using vinegar and I'm adding the citrus blend essential oils just to make it all smell really nice. I'm mixing that up with one end of my toothbrush and then I'll apply it with the other end. I actually added more baking soda just to make it a little bit thicker. You want it to be like um, shaving cream paste. Our shower has a lot of nooks and crannies so I'm just using this paste and the brush to get into all those difficult spaces and really get rid of all of the buildup and grime. Held up high, pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, so oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong Depending on your grout color, you may notice some discoloration with the buildup. So you can use that toothbrush to get in all those nooks and crannies. Oftentimes, you don't even need this paste. You can just use the toothbrush and water and even just some dish soap and it will lift right up. 
We have a grate in the bottom of our shower and underneath of it there tends to be buildup and some discoloration occurs just from our hard water. So I use the Scrubbing Bubbles shower foam and I spray it on there and then just let it sit for up to 10 minutes and let it do its work. Once you wipe this down, you would be amazed of how much just comes right off. In the meantime, I'm just using a wet sponge to wipe down the glass. I'm not rinsing it, but just wiping it down. It's set and most of the dirt and scum has lifted. So now I'm just doing a little bit of a wipe and using the harder side of the sponge very, very gently anywhere where there's more buildup that's not coming off as easily. Be sure that you're not using a really rough sponge on your glass as you don't want it to scratch. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. Next, I'm going in with my Myers tile cleaner and spraying down our tile walls and wiping it with the gentle side of the sponge. These walls don't get that much buildup, so I didn't need to wait and let it sit like I did with the glass or the floor. I just go ahead and wipe as I spray. It's finally time to rinse everything down, so I wait until the very end to rinse absolutely everything. So starting with the tile walls and then going through to the glass. And you can see on our glass, when it's really clean, the water just falls off of it so nicely. That's how I know that I've actually gotten all the grass. Finally, we go in with the squeegee. So if you don't already have a squeegee, I highly recommend for maintenance. So we squeegee our glass every time we shower. Obviously, we didn't right before I filmed this because I wanted to show you the buildup and show you the difference. But this squeegee really makes it so that there isn't much to clean every week. And then I'm going through with a microfiber cloth and just buffing it out. I don't do that every time I shower. And I also don't squeegee the tiles every time I shower, only on cleaning days. I'm all for maintenance, but I don't want to be standing in the shower cold, cleaning it every single time. So just focusing on the glass keeps everything nice and maintained. And then that way I don't have a huge clean like this every week. Now, if your shower heads are starting to go every which direction when you turn them on, there's probably some buildup. So just use vinegar and stick your shower head in that overnight if you can. If not, use a pure cleaning vinegar in a bowl and hold it on your rain head shower before wiping it down. This will get rid of all that buildup. Finally, I just go on to the outside of the glass with a Myers glass cleaner. You can use Windex or just pure vinegar, whatever works for you, and just really buff that out. You'll know that any buildup that you see is on the outside as you've already cleaned the inside perfectly. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. That is it. We have successfully cleaned the shower. So just a couple tips to maintain this now that you've cleaned it. Most of the buildup comes from humidity from hot showers. So if you have a fan, turn it on and keep it on for 30 minutes after you shower and open up your window if you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to support me, please like this video, subscribe, or stick around and watch one of my other videos. Here are two that I think you might like.